Well done, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Listen, Manchester United is playing tomorrow, and we'll be talking about their game. Where are we talking about Chelsea's game, which they drew today? Six million spend we passed two seasons, and I'm still <sighs> shitting up themselves. But first, we have to talk about the elephant in the room. I waited that day before, after the news broke, to talk about this because obviously, you know, you have to digest the news, you have to taking everyone's point of view you get your point of view you talk to your woman about it and you express yourself you know by yourself for you express yourself over in the public over my platform my little platform oh and remember drop a like on the video subscribe if you're brand new it don't cost a thing just hit a like boom and subscribe Be very close to a thousand subscribers so please as soon as you can you like the video subscribe I'm going to give you my point of view. I'm going to pull out my mask because I don't want to show myself crying after I talk about this Mason Greenwood situation. All right, people. Okay. We're all aware of what happened last year with Mason Greenwood and his girlfriend. We are all aware that, you know, someone leaked a video of Mr. Green that being very abusive to his girlfriend. One is a physically abused because he saw a video of her bleeding. You saw him talking about how he wants to do this or do that with her and she don't want to do it. All that stuff. It was very, it was disturbing to say the least. It was disturbing from a, a man's point of view. It was disturbing from a female's point of view. And it was disturbing from a, someone who should be a role model's point of view. He's 19 years old. He should be focused on playing football and be running around trying to sneak a little prime girlfriend. With all that said, yesterday we got news that, yes, the charges are dropped. After a year, 14 months, the charges were dropped. Now we know about a month, two, month, two weeks ago, maybe a month ago, we know that... Um, the Manchester City player who was charged three or four girls charged. Turns out he didn't do it. They dropped those charges and today they dropped the charges of Mason Greenwood. Now I can't begin to talk to you about the Manchester City guy. What I do know about the Mason Greenwood situation is that this process started after he these those messages and video was leaked. And then the police came, saw it was leaked, and then charged him for, you know, co coercion. Um, can't remember exactly what the, the tones, the tone was, but it was all sorts of stuff. It was it's stupid. It was a stupid situation. It was a stupid, stupid little boy. Manchester United suspended Mason Greenwood. You know, for a year now, he's been suspended. He hasn't played any football. He's been getting paid, but he hasn't been playing any football. And fast forward to today. And we heard yesterday that the cut the charge will drop. The question that we have as football fans is what should Manchester United do now with Mr. Greenwood? Because now his charges are dropped. He's a free man. You shouldn't what should they do with Mr. Greenwood right now? First of all, we heard from the female herself at least two weeks or a week after the incident was after they charged him that she didn't want that to happen. She said that she didn't leak the she she leaked, she did not leak the video. Someone hacked her phone and leaked the video. They've been friends, co co you know, since then. He even breaches bail because he shouldn't. She shouldn't. He shouldn't have contact with with her. But he breached that. Got breaches his agreement with the, with the police, and they brought him into court again for that reason. But the fact is, she didn't. She didn't expose him she didn't call the police she didn't say all right mason green try to rape me no manchester united decided yesterday that they're going to do their own internal investigation to find out if and what they should do to mason green now i know i am aware that there's a fan base there's a section of the fan base that do not want to see mason green play again and at first i was absolutely a part of that fan base at the beginning of this, I was a part of that fan base. Fast forward 14 months later, 
I am no longer a part of that fan base. I am a part of the I'm a part of the fan base that says, listen. The man needs to play again and he needs to play for Manchester United. That's my point of view, and I'll tell you why. There is something going on in this case behind the scenes that we do not know. There's a lot going on in this case that we do not know. We know that the Crown Police Department said that after they reviewed the video, they should charge him for yeah, attempted rape, whatever, whatever. 14 months later, they said they can't charge him with attempted rape because they have no witnesses. They no longer have witnesses and they have new evidence to prove that he is, they can bring forward a strong case. What new evidence is that? I hear a lot of YouTubers, a lot of people commenting on Twitter and all that sort of stuff about mainstream media, but no one is yet to address the fact that they said that there is new evidence to dispel the charges. What new evidence is that? Yes, you might say, okay, male security must have paid the witnesses off. What are those witnesses? Because she's not a witness. Because she said since day one that she didn't want to charge him with any type of rape or anything like that. So who are those witnesses? You don't know. What are those new evidence that they are saying, hey, hmm, hmm. You can't really charge him for this because that and that and that. We need to know. You know, for Manchester United, we know that it's a business. And Manchester United is all about sponsorship and the fans. If you are being Manchester United and you have people knocking on Team Field's door saying, don't bring Mason Greenwood to their team, don't bring Mason on the field, they're going to look back and say, listen, you can't bring Mason Greenwood because the fans don't like that. However, there's a vast majority of the fans right now who are supporting Mesa Greenwood. There's a vast majority of fans who are not supporting Mesa Greenwood. Now, I'm not a part of the group that's going to send the girl messages on, on Instagram and Facebook and whatnot saying, oh, she did this, she did that. And I don't support the fans who are calling Mesa Greenwood a, 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 a liar and a rapist and stuff like that because we don't know what's going on in the Mason Greenwood and his girlfriend family. What I do know is that Mason Greenwood, as a footballer, was the best thing we have seen in Manchester United since ever. I'm not talking about Rashford, because Rashford has a peak. Mason Greenwood's peak was way up there. So my point is, Manchester United should do everything they can to keep Mason Greenwood at this club. No, you can't loan him out first of the season because the transfer market is over with. So I would say put him in the under 21 so he can play for the rest of the season. Bring him in towards the end if you can. If not, loan him out next year. Keep him away from the spotlight. Lay him out to France, Italy, somewhere we can score. Go. He will score goals. That is absolutely certain. He will score goals. And by that time, Miss Green can come back to Manchester United. Play back for Manchester United. And the fans will somehow see it in their hearts to forgive him, but not forget. For whatever he did, they should forgive him, but should not forget. There should be some attrition from me, my Mr. Greenwood. Yes, it should be apologizing every day. Every time in score, he looks up in his shirt, hey, I'm sorry for that I did. But he should come back to Manchester United and he should play. Why? I am a Manchester United fan. I want what's best for Manchester United. James O'Brien said in, a, in his radio broadcast, said footballification. Footballification. I want what's right for my team. I want what's right for my team. Footballification. I want what's best for my team. As for the JFF, fam, you have an own goal. You have an open goal. You have an open goal, fam. Take it. Take it, take it, take it, fam. You now have an opportunity to call Mason Greenwood's father. Tell him so we are open and honestly, we are open for you to come and play for JFF. We re we are ready for you to come and play for JFF. We know that England don't want him anymore. Now we have an opportunity to call Mason Greenwood's father and say, you come and play for JFF. Can you imagine 10, 
15 years of Mr. Greenwood playing for Jamaica. Because we know he's not playing for England anymore. Call Mr. Greenwood father. While he's playing in the under-21s at Manchester United, make him play for Jamaica. Bring him in the team. Bring him in the team. JFF. The new coach, whatever you want to name, because I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. I don't talk to you guys because you're not pissing me off. But for now, I am telling you, fam. Go out there, call me as a green old father, and say, come play for JFF. Because we know you're not playing for England. Bring him into the team. Bring him into the team. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have been great. Thank you for liking, subscribing, continue sharing it as well so you can spread it out to people. Best of yourself, best of others, manners.